here to see Sophie Kinsella and she's come to talk about her work and her books and and her life as a writer basically. It was a really really cute intimate kind of uh, review of her latest book. Oh, I've really really enjoyed it. It's been so interesting. I was really surprised when I walked in at how intimate it was and how cushy and, like we had wine served to us. It was very very nice and it felt like talking with an old friend and Sophie just has a personality that really contributed to that. The venue is really beautiful and it really set the mood for the night. It was very relaxing and I think it really reflected her character. And do you think the reason that people do love Pinky so much is because we all see part of ourselves in her? Yeah, I think that's a really big part of it. People do relate to Becky because she's flawed, you know, she's yeah. not perfect, she gets it wrong. And you cringe with her, I think. Yeah. And there are times when, I mean, my mother-in-law can't cope with her. <laughs> she's like, even from the first one, she's like, <gasps> she's still irresponsible. I would describe it as an amazing evening. It's just always great to get an insight into a writer's life. And I had the opportunity to ask her questions. You know, I've been reading her books for such a long time. And it was just nice to meet her in person, finally. She's really lovely and I think quite inspiring as well. When you, I, I like to write, but I also, I've never really let anybody read anything I write because I feel really nervous about it. So I think she made me feel, well, maybe I should. <laughs> it was a really lovely evening and um, really great questions from the audience and great answers from Sophie. So do you find terms like, you know, chiclet derogatory? Oh, Chicklet and I, we're old friends. <laughs> We've been through the mill. Do you know, it depends who's saying it and why they're saying it, because I think people use it as an absolutely innocent shorthand that is not intended to mean anything except this is a fun book with contemporary issues, this has got a female protagonist, this is, you know, going to be fun and make you laugh, and that's all they mean. And they. They just use it as you might just use any sort of shorthand. Uh, you know, I, rumor has it there are people who might use it in a derogatory way. I, I pretend I don't understand, actually. Oh, she's been great. She's been so open, warm about you know her background and the journey that she's been on, and it's just been you know just a delight to, to watch really. And I was so surprised she's got five children. I think that must be really hard work. Um, and unbelievably, Sophie has five children, if you didn't already know that. <laughs> yes, I, I am officially insane. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you do it all? Uh, <laughs> yeah, work in progress, I don't know, I'll let you know. Um, I have very good support, my brilliant yeah. husband, Henry, sitting among the throng. Um, I spread them out, I should say. I do not have sort of five little diddlies, I think I would actually collapse. So, you know, one's off at university now. Having said that, one is also three. You get to meet cool people and get, everyone's really nice here. And yeah, it's a bargain. I got a photo, got a book signed, got to talk to her a little bit, and it was really great. Yeah, she was fabulous, fabulous. Very inspiring.